Cutting in a room refers to painting the ceiling line corners and around windows, doors, outlets, and switches with a brush prior to using a roller. Doing it the right way is important. Here's what you'll need. A two and a half inch angle sash brush, a smaller brush, painter's tape, drop claws, a step ladder, and Benjamin Moore Aura. Remove furniture or cover it with a drop cloth. A two and a half inch angle sash brush is the workhorse for all cutting in work. Some people choose to tape off the areas, including the ceiling line, baseboard, and around windows and doors, but with a good quality brush, you may not need to. Be sure to remove all switch plates and outlet covers and tape over the outlets. Start by carefully painting up against the ceiling line where the wall and ceiling meet with the flat side of the brush. Make sure to avoid painting the ceiling line itself. Start by slowly painting or cutting in the edge, then feathering the paint three to five inches down the wall to achieve a better quality finish. Follow the same process in the corners and again paint about three to five inches on each side. Do the same around any windows, doors, and finally the baseboard. You'll also need to use the brush on any areas that you won't be able to reach with your roller. By using Benjamin Moore products, which dry quickly, you can cut in the entire room, then switch to the roller to paint the rest of the wall. This process will make your project go much faster. Now that you've cut in a room, check out our other how-to videos to finish your project. If you have any other projects in mind, we can help.